Hello and welcome to the first Direct to Dell from Dawn. Video in the lab, uh, we're talking about our Emulex One Connect product, uh, our converged network adapter. For this segment, this video, we're going to talk about installing that into a Dell 2950 rack server. It's a PCI Express stand-up CNA. We're connecting that up to our uh, Cisco 5020 data center bridging switch. And that's going to give us a connection out to a standard EMC Clarion CX3-10 array. So in a nutshell, we're initiating FCOE through a Cisco 5020, and our target is an EMC array. This is the view of the uh, Dell Rack Server 2950. In this server, we've installed an LPE 11000, one of our 4 gigabit single port fiber channel HP HBAs. And also in the same server is the fiber channel of Ethernet converged network adapter right there. That uh, aqua blue cable is uh, 10 gigabit per second uh, SFP optical. And that's going into the uh, data center bridging switch we'll show here in a second. There's our 5020 switch. This allows us to connect up via 10 gigabit per second Ethernet connection. Uh, we have one of our ports connected here. There are other initiators and targets plugged into the VLAN section of this data center bridging switch. On the right hand side is 4 gigabit fiber channel, standard fiber channel going to our EMC array. And there's a quick view of the CX3-10 array um, that we're connected to via 4 gig fiber channel. This is a 10 gigabit um, Ethernet link to the 5020 switch, and it's connected into another uh, edge switch, you can call it an Ethernet edge switch. It gives us connectivity here to our uh, local area network, and we even have another uplink to the Internet. So let's take a look at that infrastructure one more time in a graphical uh, example. So in our lab demo, we took our fiber channel over Ethernet plus NIC converged network adapter from Emulex and we installed it into a Dell 2950 rack server. We connected that up to a Cisco 5020 data center bridging switch via a 10 gigabit per second optical connection. Just one of the ports was connected in our example. Next we brought in um, a fiber channel target our example, we used a 4 gig uh, Clarion CX310, uh, just a single uh, array with a few disks in it. That was connected to this 5020 switch via a 4 gigabit uh, fiber channel module inserted into the 5020 bridging switch. And that's just uh, the same kind of fiber channel cable you've always used, so there's nothing different there. Next, we showed uh, connectivity to an Ethernet switch that had a 10 gigabit per second uplink. Uh, so that gives you an idea how you could connect up um, your our CNA to your wide area network or your existing LAN. Uh, this particular edge, sw edge switch had a 10 gigabit per second uplink. You're going to need something like that um, to connect up to your greater LAN to go from 10 gig to 1 gig. Um, and all that could be done with this uh, this one data center bridging switch and our CNA. Um, you could use other um, bridging switches as well. You could use a uh, Brocade, for example. Brocade 8000 uh, fills a similar, similar role. This just happens to be what I had in my lab at the time. But the idea here is to, to show you uh, how this convergence works. You can install one of our adapters, and in our example we only used one port. And through that one port we are able to connect up our 10 gig NIC and our 4, 4 gig fiber channel. So we hope this uh, quick video gave you a, a good uh, example of what it means to converge uh, protocols onto a single um, port. We offer fiber channel over Ethernet plus NIC. So now you see what we're talking about is you're seeing all the protocol going through one port uh, using our hardware to offload it from the CPU. It uh, really only requires uh, some sort of a data center bridge to allow you to take that fiber channel out of the fiber channel over Ethernet uh, protocol and send that off to your uh, fiber channel devices and then just as you would manage any network adapter you can manage our adapter and it'll be on the same port so you don't need a separate NIC card and a separate fiber channel card to do your Ethernet and Internet and your uh, SAN and storage protocols. 
So look forward to talking to you some more. Uh, we got lots more to, to discuss.